You sure know your boxing. Well, all I know is never bet on the white guy. So yesterday I recorded the video on the whole Tyson Fury, Alexander Usyk situation. It's basically a bit of a rant slash questioning where's the buzz? I'm not feeling this. It doesn't feel like people are interested, etc, etc. And that video never saw the light of day because there was all sorts of copyright issues. So what I'm trying to do is like, in the background, I'm trying to put some videos, or I was, but it's just too much headache. So anyway, that video didn't make it up. And then the press conference kind of took place. And now something has happened in the press conference that's noteworthy. I'm going to talk about it, but I'm also going to come back full circle and double down on my argument that I don't feel there's any buzz around this fight. And I believe that the numbers back it up. But let's just start with the main talking point of the whole thing and that's Alexander Usyk kind of trolling Tyson Fury now technically I say kind of he definitely did troll Tyson Fury but I'm looking at more the effect that the attempt had and I don't think it was in line with what they were hoping it would do the laughs it would get and the virality that would follow and I don't think they got any of it there's a few people talking about it I think like a clip on Fight Hype or Fight Hub one of them channels with over a million subscribers got like 14k on the whole trolling thing that little clip there with Alexander Usyk opening the briefcase I just think they expected more of an impact with what they did I respect what they did it was actually a decent troll him dressed as a hitman as well agent 47 or whatever that was all good I just don't think it had the desired effect personally the marketer in me and some of you're going to say what do you know about marketing I'm going to say trust me probably more than you but yeah, the marker in me is essentially saying that I think they missed the trick. If they had some orange lights inside the briefcase there, they may have got their viral moment with the Pulp Fiction reference, but it's kind of insignificant, really. I mean, I get what they tried. It was good. I enjoyed it personally, but looking at the numbers, it hasn't done the rounds. The whole, everything to do with the press conference, in my opinion, there's no buzz around it. They didn't do a great job. I didn't even watch it, to be honest with you guys. That's how disinterested I am in this whole situation. And that kind of brings me on to my next point. Well, it's not even really a point. At this point, it's a question. And the question is to you guys, do you guys care about this fight? Because I don't seem to at the minute. I don't know what it is. I think it might be because deep down, I don't believe it's going to materialize for whatever reason. I just got this feeling in me, but I can't really get behind this fight. I'm not excited about it. And I couldn't bring myself to watch the entire press conference like when the first one was announced i watched the whole press conference i believe i watched it live and it wasn't the best press conference in the world but at least i had the interest in actually watching it to hear what they had to say with this one what what is there to hear like what was there to hear did they say anything different i'm guessing tyson fury wasn't calling him a midget a rabbit i'm guessing he was being a little bit more respectful after he got his ass handed to him and that's about it i saw some pictures from the face off he was trying to grab his stomach or his tits or whatever so that's typical tyson fury but it still didn't make me interested in this fight. As of right now, honestly, guys, I have no interest in it. I almost feel like after seeing it once, like both guys had their chance to perform as good as they could, the best they can on the night, and Alexander Usyk came out on top. So part of me is thinking, like, what's going to change now? What can Tyson Fury say in the press conference that he wouldn't have said the first time round? You know, if I believed him then when he was saying he's going to knock Alexander Usyk out, then why would I believe him now? You know what I mean? What's changed? And I don't know. The whole situation just doesn't feel right to me. Alexander Usyk isn't really much of a speaker anyway, so he doesn't bring much to the table when it comes to press conferences, when it comes to the buzz of a fight. And I don't really believe Tyson Fury when he says whatever it is he says, because when you've got that O and you're beating everyone, you can essentially say what you want, and people can't really give you too much pushback because you're winning. And now you've suddenly lost. It's like, ugh, it's not the same. And then ever since the fight, there's been little bits of excuses coming out, like not direct excuses, but definitely excuses like i've heard that him and his team were saying like they couldn't spar properly in camp because they were worried about the cut now technically that's an excuse they're just saying that he wasn't prepared for the fight he was underprepared and that's why he lost i mean they didn't say that's why he lost but if you're receiving the messages the signals that they're sending out that's what they're saying and on top of that recently i think they're saying about a miscarriage a day before the fight now that is a legit reason for someone to be thrown off their game but the end of the day, you chose to put that to one side and collect your check and go in there and take the fight. So you can't even say that is valid, even though it kind of is. But I don't really have time for it as a fan, to be honest with you guys. It's a case of if you got in the ring and you got in there to fight, then there should be no excuses. It is what it is. And then just things coming out after the fact is a bit of a negative feeling. It gives off a negative feeling towards the fight. And maybe that's impacting the way I feel about it. But as of right now, 24th of October 2024 I have zero interest in this fight at the minute I'm hoping it will change maybe it's just me maybe I've got a bad read and everyone's well behind this fight but it doesn't look like it, it doesn't appear to be that way and I don't get that feeling it is what it is you guys let me know how you feel about it in the comment section below laters